Yo, what up guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video is going to be a pretty short one, but I'm going to try and make it as quick as possible for you, not to make sure that this video is longer than 5 minutes. But either way, what I'm going to be showing you today is how to install Script Hook V, how to install onto your GTA 5 directory. Now what you want to do is, you want to head over to this website, it will be in the description below, and what you want to do is you want to download it for GTA 5, you can do it for a couple games here. So what you want to do is you want to click here, script hook V, it's going to take you to this page. Now all you want to do is you want to go down here and you want to click on download, right here. Alright, so now what you want to do is you want to minimize your browser and all you want to do is you want to come onto your screen right here. So now what you want to do is you want to open up your folder which is probably up here or down here if you guys use Windows like that and you want to open up to downloads. Now what you want to do is you want to right click, left click and then right click and then extract to its file's name. You should get a similar file but instead of it being WinRAR it's normally a folder. So now what you want to do is you want to drag this onto your desktop and then you want to close your folder for your downloads. Alright so the next step is you need to find out where you saved GTA 5. Now for Steam, you want to open up Steam, you want to go to your library and you want to go find GTA 5. Mine's here. Now what you want to do is you want to right click, you want to do properties local files and then browser local files and then when a folder opens up when you've clicked on browser local files it should be your directory and that's it all right so once you've found your directory through the little tutorials i have just given out right now once you've found your directories what you want to do is you want to open up script hook and you put it side by side so this side is your directory and this side is script hook so what you want to do now is you want to open up in bin in script hook so what you could do if you aren't installing a mod menu at all for gta 5 story mode is you could just include all these three files and drag them onto the copy to gta 5 directory or if you are installing a different mod menu besides the native trainer asi then what you want to do is you want to delete this and then just drag in dimple8.dll and scripthookv.dll and that's about it if you are going to use the mod menu that came with script talk to open that mod menu in story mode only is to open it up by f4 and i'm pretty sure you use the arrows to navigate around enter is to select and backspace just to exit that's about it for this tutorial. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope to God that somehow this tutorial has helped you by watching throughout this video. I hope it's helped you out throughout this video. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace.